<laughs> I hate you guys. <laughs> Anyway, man, I don't know. I don't remember anything like super. Anything that super stands out from the last time these guys played in winners. Same. I just know that this matchup has always been pretty rough for Luigi in general. Yeah, I mean, I think, like, I think, I think when you think about neutral in general, Luigi not having the strongest neutral just being memed about that it's just two moves Zare and Fireball in it and Rob having a lot of the neutral oh, oh god but that's that's a good thing though Rob yeah. is like that that perfect body for Luigi combos yeah he can just oh, he grab gets, you he gets, and just yeah he gets just he just gets blown up but it, it, Rob has so many ways to play around crowd like so many ways to edge guard Luigi great projectile he's just yeah, he has a lot going for him but of course, like that also depends uh, on the route player. Oh, what a good read! Because he expected Kirashi to like mash out, but then he like waited. Yeah, and this is gonna be a confirm. But Kirashi letting the cyclone go here. Like I mentioned, if it's not a true combo, Luigi and Yoshi are two very strong characters and just reversal you for it. And oh, wait, did they play off stream? I think they played off stream. They did, they did. They That's did. That's why. Did. That's why I don't remember. Oh. That was actually some good DR in the back there. Uh, no jump. No, oh, yeah, no jump. Didn't matter. Okay. Apeman's having to take the stock even though he took a little bit of percent there. Yeah, he actually just down tilted him out of the cyclone. And he air dodged off stage and died. <laughs> That's unfortunate. But he did get caught mashing Cyclone and disadvantage, so... Yeah. Kind of his fault. Okay, but then back on the stage, down smash. Barely the tail end of it, hitting Kier Kierash off the stage. Ape Man with a lot of control, using that gyro to get this down air, but not a confirm. Ape Man, watch yourself on this roll! Dang, he actually gave Kierash, like, the really good DI that... Kirash would want for like down throw cyclone or the yeah, nice. Yeah. What, what a punish to on the way back with oh. the down air. I was gonna say if I were Ape Man, you gotta want you gotta wanna no pun intended, cool those jets down a little bit here and kind of just hold on to the stage here. You know that Kirash is looking for a raw back air, he's looking for the grab. He's looking for a neutral air. I was gonna look at wow. the fastball too and still able to recover. Yeah. He's got plenty of fuel to burn. Oh my god, what a parry. Wow, what a yeah, what a parry. This is an up smash. Nice. That range on up smash is so crazy. It scoops you up from so far. I'm not. I'm not like impressed that like of the smashed killed. I'm just impressed that like he got the parry on the up smash one, which is the starting the starting hitbox that pulls you to the to the main one. That was because that was impressive. And not only that, parrying online is really difficult because you have to amount to the actual online frames of lag versus offline where you're just used to not having any lag. I be I think Smash Ultimate's like minimum lag is like 11 frames so, or something like that. I'm not 100% sure on that. If anybody in the chat wants to correct me on that, I just know there's a minimum amount of like frame delay and it's definitely something. Especially over Wi Fi. I can't remember the numbers exactly. Yeah, I think you have it. Somebody uh spamming them emotes. Nah, a little too much. A little too much. Yeah, man, now you guys know why Helvet's the mod on like a lot of Smash channels, dude. It's a good mod. Is it Helvet a doctor or something? I don't remember. 
<laughs> I hung out with Exia. Exia is a good mod too. Exia and Helvet are two good mods. I've, I've definitely hung out with Exia a few times. We got Boba together one time. It was great. Good times. When we used to do offline. Before quarantine. Anyways. Game game two here. Ape and Man starts off hot with this grab. Down to the floor there. Quick percent 22. And then looks to establish control here in center stage. And you can see that that's what he's looking for here. As soon as he gets control, he's going to have to do his very best to hold it here. Put Luigi in with punish range. But also definitely give some control to not approach Luigi. Because the less you can approach Luigi, the better. Definitely that's something that Luigi struggles with the zoners. Because he has to approach them. And like we said, Strides, not a lot of good tools in the neutral, man. Mostly limited to Fireball and Zare. And committal things like Nair and Cyclone. And that's not really much of neutral tools when you think about it that way. Yeah, he also just doesn't have great air mobility or drift either. Yeah. So getting in with just like his movement is very difficult a lot of times. But 8-bit, man. Going super greedy. It doesn't even matter though. <laughs> he just gets another up smash. That could have been so good for Kirash. Having that rage and the stock lead while Ape Man's at zero. Like, he could have just gotten some really good grab combos. Wow. That was a great gyro out of shield. And nice combo? Was, yeah. Wow. Beautiful. Great setup, and again, Rob's Rob's uh, hurt box being so huge is even with some uh, great DI, very difficult to avoid that. So yeah, Kirash doing an amazing job of dealing this game back. Like, look how much of a lead he has now. Oh, he still had control of the gyro too? Yeah, he really likes that empty hop after the down throw. Yeah. It's good to just read your opponent's reaction in that situation here. Down throw chase. This is going to be another down throw here. The missed opportunity with wow. the upper, but he gets the down smash on the way back. Forcing that low recovery. That's the Jets, but no confirm here. Oh, with grab. And that's big for Kirash. Yep. He gets the Cyclone, the stock, and game two. Damn, what a turnaround. That one combo he got just like completely turned the match in his favor. Yeah. Game through here. Pretty big deciding game. Ape Man had a pretty good start, honestly. Just starting to establish control in the neutral before he gave Kia Rash opportunities to go for things like grab. A couple of couple misconfirms were definitely like his demise, giving Kia Rash openings and opportunities like that. So it's it's up to Ape Man to like kind of basically just, you know, take it easy. When he gets these opportunities and then try to see how he can bait out Kirash. There are times where he just goes for a down throw, he waits for that spot dodge or that air dodge reaction, and then he punishes him for it, which is really, really strong too, because as soon as you start to do things like that on your opponent, they start to feel like they're re they're really red, and then you instill fear and start to condition your opponent for a lot of options in which you can punish him for that condition. And I think that's something that Ape Man's doing really good so far, especially for Kirash too he's definitely understanding of like okay if my opponent can't this is not a true combo i can definitely use do something like this and like hold my way out of here all right starting over forward and neutral like 27 percent here on Ethan man still recovering yeah so oh, this is a grab oh damn drop is so huge that even when Ethan man di'd away like the downer still spiked him from so far away yeah. That was actually ridiculous. I don't know if you saw that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like above, Lu he was above Luigi. <laughs> and he no still got spiked. Yeah. Because he has such a huge hurt box. 
What a return. Oh. What a return. What a return for Ethan, man. That was smart. He saved he the double to... jump, though. Yeah, he tried to take the hit. Yeah. So he gets some Kirash from recovering, but it just didn't play out on the wall in the end. I was trying to say that, like, Ape Man, he needs, like, more of these early edge guards because Rob just gets so much reward off of that for, especially against Luigi, but, yeah, he's, he isn't able to find them. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah, this is rough, like, since Rob usually just has all the tools to, you, oh, my, like, <laughs> he usually has all the tools to force Luigi to approach. When he's behind like this, it allows Luigi way more times to get punishes and grabs and, like, all this ridiculous stuff on him. Yeah, oh at, my goodness. Look at that positioning there too. He whiff punished Ape Man on that hard approach because he came from the across the entire stage. And Kirash know that he might have been in a tough spot, but it's the fact that he knows he can punish the landing with an up smash. And I think he's been a player so far to kind of like hold his cards closer to his chest where he saves those opportunities like up smash or cyclone when it's needed at the very, very most opportune moment, especially when he has to break through with projectiles. Oh, great recovery from Kirash, honestly. Man, this is really scary for Ape Man. Like he, of course, he has to approach here, but if he just messes up just a little bit, it can just be so bad for him. He's yeah. still at that really low percent where he has to worry about the Luigi combos. Exactly. You see it in some matchups too, where some players or characters like Snake or Link, they'll use a bomb to escape that grab down throw. Oh, that was rough, and Ape Man will definitely talk for that one. You can tell it's a little bit of a break, man. This man got literally taken away by the pop, by the boss zone because he was stuck on the platform. Oh, nope, no tech chase there. Could have been really good for Kirash, though. <gasps> oh, missing the up ass shield? Yeah. <laughs> he was so... He was so ready for him to get up, attack his shield for a B. Back throw? Mm, no backer here. Stage oh, the, the catch! Ape, man. With a big catch and a big opportunity to actually make this comeback. Yeah, so definitely some signs of life here. But yeah, Kirash, he's also very smart about playing patiently too. It's not going to be easy for Ape Man to find an opening right now. Especially if you can see like how many times Kirash is taking control of the gyro in neutral as well. Okay, Town City, big blast zones. Don't even survive here, 106, Ape Hit Man. He's gonna make a time to make a big play. It would have been now here. Try to start off with an aerial out of shield here, but he's there enough to can't stop him. But he man, def I, I feel like Ape Man's definitely looking for an arm rotor off stage. Yeah, he is, he is. He knows like, if he gets his forward air, this corner carry, and his arm rotor. Mm. Oh! Yeah, that's it. That's it, man. Avon Ava was really struggling in this matchup. I, I gotta say, I'm pretty surprised. But I do know K Kirash has played against Epic Gabriel so many times now. Even though this is a, a bad matchup for Luigi, he's yeah. very experienced in this at this point. Having the experience in a matchup is definitely like a strong, especially when it's against Epic Gabriel, who's like one of the best raw mains alongside Ape Man. It definitely is like up to Ape Man to kind of like change the game plan a little bit here, adapt to his opponent here. And so far, it's like you said, right? Like, normally this would be a position where Rob wins, but because Kirash is so familiar with the matchup, it's, it's pretty rough. Rob, de definitely Luigi loses to a lot of zoners. Is it even matchup? I, th I think uh, it might be. I think it might be. The only reason why is because of Rob's huge hurtbox. Once Luigi gets a grab, it's really huge. Hmm. The problem is that Luigi has to fight a lot for that grab. It's a lot that he has to fight for. It's literally like a lot of projectiles, a lot of options where Rob can definitely come out more on top. So I think at the end of the day, it feels a little bit more even, but I definitely think it's a little bit more Rob favor. Definitely Luigi, like, I think... I think the real SK puts it well here. Luigi is like minus three for the Bel uh, for Luigi against the Belmonts, and that's for good reasons. A lot of projectiles just do really hurt Luigi, especially in his approaching, because like we said, he has really, really poor approaching options and really poor neutral. Couple that with poor aerial movement. Character has lackluster 
options, but he makes up for that in explosive grab damage. Yeah. Well, if Kirash thinks his character doesn't lose, then his confidence definitely shows. And just, you know, how well he's able to play this matchup, too. I personally don't think so, but... I don't play Luigi, so <laughs> my opinion doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'm with you on that stride. Oh, this is big. Oh, nice job, Mark. Forward smash. Ooh, and a stop. Ape and man with a big forward smash always, That forward smash from Rob like, always surprises me for how strong it is. It just doesn't look like it's supposed to be that much knockback, but it is. Yeah. Couple that with the corner carry Ape and man got, too. It was huge. We pretty much both brought this man to the blast. Okay, Ape and man has got control here. 85. I definitely wanted to see him toss out more projectiles before I tried to land on the stage here. Alright, sneaky up air. Not enough. Control air. Oh, this is rough here. Back air. Not the sour spot. Yeah. Oh, wow. He's, I don't know if he meant to spot dodge there. Because he definitely shielded the get up attack. Like he was waiting for. <laughs> Look at Ape Man too. He's starting to roll just to avoid Kirash because he knows how important it is to hold control, even with the stock lead. Because he knows if he gives him some momentum, if he gives him a grab, he can bring things back. Excellent DI coming out from Ape Man. That great deal gets to the very safely too. There's a parry in an air. Ape Man looking for a landing here. Goes back towards the ledge. Down at a stall here. Oh man, Kira's getting kind of desperate for the kill right now. Even just playing so patiently around the Cyclone too. Yep. Nice. He goes for the down tilt laser and that's good too because he doesn't want to overextend himself knowing that afterwards that may not be true and then he'll play into Kira's hands. There's a punish? Yeah. We talked about how important it is to wait out Cyclone, but also you can understand that you can actually whiff punish Luigi for going for Cyclone because there's a lot of commitment from him here. He's going to use it to land here and he finally gets stuck here, but he's got 124 to the name here. Oh man, yeah. immediate big. roll into the up smash. I don't know, Ape Man's just so good at calling out like that panic option when they're like not expecting the up smash. He just covers jump and roll so well. Oh, opportunity again. Ooh, nope. Missing the sweet spot and that's good for Ape Man because he gets to live to fight another day. Gyro, stage control, looking for a way to come back on the stage here. Like it goes back to the platform. You can see it. He knows how to play this a little bit more now. Avoid Luigi's brain as much as possible. Yeah, he's even playing this platform too in case uh, Kirash does go up there and try to like sneak in a grab. He can easily reverse that option too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, he's just playing the matchup like as he should. He's exactly. not getting with the crazy edge guards, but as far as neutral goes, it's very difficult for Kirash to get in right now. Look at that, he's not, and even when he goes towards the ledge, he sets a bomb and he sets up up smash. Why? Because he can call it an aerial approach because he knows Gyro will cover the ground. And up smash has a starting hitbox that comes from the ground as well. Robo arms. Ooh. Oh. Got out. Oh. Okay. Saving man has died at zero to grab multiple times already. I yeah. don't think he wants it to happen again. Especially no, definitely. at this percent. But, wow. The raw nair again. <laughs> I think he rushed, got caught throwing out a, a, a grab there and just really missed. Yeah. And I think, I think he rushed... Realistically speaking, he picked a good option just because the way that he threw grab out there, if he would have punished Rob on the landing or Rob before the startup, that would have been huge, like you said, Strides. We've seen Ape Man get grabbed at zero and lose the stock like that. So Kirash made the bet, but this time I think Ape Man did a really good job. I think what he's understanding more is coverage here. You send out the gyro, it covers the ground here. I can go for an area. Why? Nair has lasting frames. Decent hitbox here. I was gonna say big hitbox. And then if Kirash goes for an aerial here, I will caught that aerial and that still get the stock two for one special there because it was able to catch Kirash right when it needed to the most. But uh, man, I don't know. Like Kirash is so good at parrying that like I get surprised that Ape Man still feels comfortable going for like Nair's on shield like that. I think this one that I noticed it, it was a little bit more space, but with the combination of having Gyro there, I felt the Ape Man made the right call.
But like, yeah, you're right. Definitely anybody else would have been scared. But you know what? Ape Man is not just any man. He's the Ape Man. He's definitely one of the best Rob means. Three time MSM online winner. Got a lot to say about that. Game five here. Last time between these two. We'll see he'll take it all the way home. Ooh, got some Gyro's D drop shenanigans? Are you. Okay. Not dead, but wow. I didn't even know Luigi could combo with Gyro like that. Zero to 85. Yep. Oh, back hit in there. Not able to come out, though. I was going to say, Ape Man's got to watch out with these rolls. Yeah, that's big for Kirosh, and he gets the Cyclone, and almost a stock great DI from Ape Man. Yeah, these rolls, it's got to say, too much you commit to them, too. Back hit of Nair. Ape Man with stage control here. Gets the down smash. Laser to force the jump. Cross up with Nair. Oh, nice take, Chase. Wow. Yeah. Man, Kirosh uses the gyro. Very, very impressive. Not going to lie. Forward throw, laser, forcing the recovery oh, here. Oh, the air dodge. Yeah, since gyro low, down air, no spike here, and starts the robo arm, but you can tell that a Kirosh, no, I can just go for a get up attack, and I don't have to worry about it. Oh, yeah, I, I think Ape Man, like, best case scenario for him is to take this stock before game to, like, 60, yeah. 60 plus. <gasps> he set up for a grab. This is an uh, pummel. Yeah. Oh, great DI coming out from Kira. I thought he would have gone for a down throw with platform extension too, especially at that percent. Double roll. Down throw here. We're going to get this whole stage to himself. Ape Man is at that 60%. It's do or die here. Double arms? Yeah. Oh, able, he able to, yeah, able to power the grab. Through. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Exactly 60%. Oh, that was dirty, man. Not my first time seeing that setup, but it's no, still all, crazy every time I see it. Man, and gonna, Rob, I can imagine Rob the being the, too. the size he is, man. It's like so consistent for me to get that. Going for the taunt two frame for the last dog, kind of crazy, especially in game five. But hey, yeah, that'll take. Oh, great DI once again coming out from Ethan, man. Like you said, right? Having that matchup knowledge and experience coming from Epic Gabriel, Ape Man's got a pretty big hill to climb here. 120 to Kirosh, though. If you guess the stock, the hill, the hill isn't going to be as big as he thought. Forward air. Stage control here with Gyro. Once again, looking for an opportunity. There's a downer. He saw the invincibility frames run out. Great patience from Ape Man. This is looking like a possibility for him here. He's got to watch out for these grabs. Low. Oh, it's decent in there. Oh, but Ooh. not able to use the Gyro. You know, burning that roll out just to oh. avoid the grab here. Oh! Oh, that parry was so scary. I, I thought Ape Man was getting up a B for sure. Yeah. This man is tossing out everything here. Gyro, down throw, laser, looking for an opportunity. Just come down to the center stage. Look for control. The man's got to watch out with those rolls and the commitment here. But the gyro is going to cost him here. Kiel with stage control. 22 here to 86. Yeah, Demand huge to control careful. the ledge right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, I even crouched under the gyro too. Okay. No laser. Forward air. Oh, He's got the gyro here. Back to the ledge again. No downer. Nice. Oh, he got the jump. The jump. Ledge. Up tilt. Mm. And you see up smash too, because if he would have tried to go from the platform, that would have also caught, like I mentioned here, up smash has a ground hitbox that connects to the main one. Oh, this is big for Ape Man. Yeah, that's big. That's big. Go down there. Neutralite calls up the jump again here. Ape yeah, the ledge jump from, from, from Kirash keep getting caught by Ape Man. <gasps> oh, that was there and just timed it. Is that going to cost him? No, just sweet spot on the back there. Yeah, oh, man. man. Ape Man looking on the landing. Neutralite oh. breakthrough here. Laser once oh, again. Staying up the jar at the ledge. Oh, my oh, God. What was that no. hitbox? What the was that gyro. hitbox? The what was that gyro. hitbox? Dude, did the wind box from his down be like, like pull the gyro in yeah, like that? The wind box pulled so the far gyro. Away. The wind box pulled the gyro. Oh my god. Damn. That's how you lose game five. Last hit.
That's why you lose. No bias, dude, but if I were 8-bit man, I would pop off my seat right now.